go right into my craft, which I'll show you right here. It has to do with, hmm, maybe drinking a little bit of water <laughs> in a wine glass. <laughs> because, um, hold on, I'm thirsty. Um, it has to do with corks. And um, I always make the joke that I have a huge baggie full of corks. And um, my projects are always, uh, you know, involve something that has to do with corks. And we'll see if I can find the slide. But um, it's a lot of fun because you're upcycling corks into a cute little ornament. And I just can't stand not using glitter. And that's why you see that it actually has some glitter on it as well. You can see this a little bit more up close. You can make these in various sizes, but for the craft cam and the craft tonight, I'm going to be showing you how to make the ornament size, which also can rest on its own. And then you can make these big, gigantic ones and just go completely crazy, all right? So let's rock on over to da na 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 craft cam. All right, everybody. Okay, so this is a larger version of the, the cork ornament tree that we're going to be doing tonight. What we're going to be working with are six corks. You can see them right here. They're already decorated and sparkled. And I'm just going to show you the techniques on how to easily sparkle each end of your corks. I like to do both sides just because I love glitter. Now, I have this fun little technique that makes this whole process this really nice stamped out process. You just need two or three um, of your cute little bottle caps. I know some people don't have bottle caps, but you can use any sort of palette. I like to use bottle caps. They're the perfect stamping size for these corks. Make sure your corks are pretty much clean. It's, you know, sometimes it's hard to get that red wine smell out, but they're pretty good after you just give them a little bit of soap and water and let them dry for a while. This is an easy technique because you can put some glue and some bottle caps, then you put your glitter, your varieties of glitter, and your other bottle caps, and then you just start dabbing and then sparkling. Very easy to do. So I just dab one side and then kind of stick it in the sparkles there. Voila! Perfect sparkled cork. And I just dab the other side because I love my glitter. And I just put it in there just like so. And I just go like that. And then I put that off to the side to dry. And then I continue. I like to use about four colors of different colors of sparkles in my these particular projects just because I like a lot of different colors. I mean, it's festive. It's a holiday. So why not just give it a lot of color? Use all the color you possibly can get. And of course, if you don't have all glitter, all different kinds of glitter colors. You can also paint the ends as well. Glitter, of course, gives it that really crazy fun shine. So I just want to show you a quick technique on how you can use these bottle caps to help you save time in doing the whole gluing and glittering process. It sort of keeps you from having to do the sprinkling and, and all that kind of stuff with the glitter. So very easy to do. Then, once you've let them dry, like I said, you need six, six corks. Let me put these off to the side. You need six corks to make a smaller little ornament that you can hang from the trees. In fact, I gave these out as little gifts last year because I love giving out ornaments um, as gifts. What you do is you just decorate them. You can see I gave these little sequins. You can decorate both sides if you really want to. For this project, I just did one side. They're decorated with sequins and rhinestones. And all I did was just take a little dab of warm glue. You will need your warm glue gun. And I just gave it just a tiny little dab right on the end there. And then I just put my embellishment. And you really don't need a ton of embellishments, although you can use things like brads, sequins, anything you can get your hands on. Even, you know, paper embellishments would be really cute. Just anything that's going to make it your own and just really make it sparkle. I don't know how much more sparkly it could get. Now it goes on to the construction part of this. You have your, your six corks, they're decorated, they're ready to be put together. You need to make the bottom portion of your tree first. First, you're probably going to want to look at it and see, okay, well, where do I want all these colors to line up? And I'm feeling like I want a green, a silver, and a gold. And that's going to be the bottom part. So all I do is I take my first cork, I give it a nice strip of glue right on the side, and then quickly I just press that next one right into it. And then I go and do that with this next one and just press that right in. Those are going to take about 10 seconds to fully dry, but I'm going to move on. Now what I need to do is just give the top kind of corners of each one 
strips of glue so that my next row will fit nicely into them, like so. And then again, but this time I'm also going to add a strip to that next row, that one guy that I had right there. And then I'm going to push that in there, just like that. See, now I have two rows perfectly even. And then if you can see really close, you actually don't see the glue because I strategically placed the glue just right on the inside tops there. And then just last but not least, our top cork, which could have a cute little star on it, a star embellishment if you really wanted that. I'm just going to put glue right in there. And then just like so. Now, if you want to put an eyelet in it, I just have a little eyelet screw right here. What's great about cork is you actually can screw it right into the cork and you don't have to worry um, about it really falling out. If you want to give it a little dab of hot glue, you can do that. And then that makes a cute little ornament that you can slip some ribbon through or an ornament hook through and you're good to go. So how easy is that? But you're missing your little trunk. And what I did was actually took a screw cap from a wine bottle because there are screw cap wine bottles and just put the top with some hot glue and then stuck that right onto the bottom. So actually it can free stand on its own now with this little trunk, a little pink trunk. And it's all recycled. Here's, like I said, a large triangle of glittered corks that I haven't finished to put the base on yet, so I just want to finish that up. And then I also wanted to show you the, the um, little file that, of these up close so that you can actually see what they look like a little bit closer.